Hi there, my name is Marco and I'm here to start a brand new series on how to install uh, and use uh, Coding Nair 4. Coding Nair 4 is a PHP framework. Um, Coding Nair has been, has been around for uh, quite a few years and they have a new version uh, and I decided to do um, a small webcast series on how to use it, how to install it and how to build a small application with it. So um, let's get things started. So if you go into the user guide in codingnight.com user guide, you see that you have um, a welcome page and a server requirements page. This is uh, quite important because uh, uh, the environment where you're going to run the application has to have these requirements um, meted. So if you don't, you, you need to start there. Like if you're running PHP on your computer natively, you have to install these extensions. Uh, if you don't, um, the, the framework will just not work. So let's move on into the installation. Uh, there's a, a, a few a few ways uh, uh, on how you you can install the, the the framework. There's a manual installation. Uh, there's a composer installation. Uh, if you're not familiar with composer, composer is like it's a, a package manager for PHP. Um, but I'm gonna focus on the manual install because that's probably uh, how most people uh, are gonna uh, use it. Uh, and to do that, there's even that there's a, there's a two ways you can do it. You can go into the GitHub Codeigniter um, repo. Is this one Codeigniter for Codeigniter for? And you go into the master branch and you just use this one. Uh, like this is one way you can do it. And you just you just download the zip file and use this. The other way you go into the official uh, official website and you go into the downloads folder and then you you have uh, three ways you can download it. There's coding night folder two. You don't want to use this. This is really really old. Not supported anymore. Uh, there's coding uh, three. Uh, in that, in my opinion, it is going to reach end of life soon, I guess. And then there's coding nine four that we want. So you you, you download the, the framework, and now I have the framework on my downloads folder. I extract it, and there you go. This is the framework. Um, so now there's the next step. So how do you put it to work? How, how, how does it run? So let's go into the documentation again. Running your app. There's a, a, a few ways you can do this. And this is going to depend on your environment, on how you want to, uh, to, to use the, the framework. The, the first way you can do it is just use the PHP serve. Uh, I can show you on how this works and I'll show you in a minute. You can have a bash running on your server, on your computer. And this is fine too. If you have a bash in, in PHP on your server, uh, that will work fine if you have the the, the minimal requirements made meet uh, then you can also use nginx same thing with the push you can use vagrant i used to use this way uh, for a long time but today we're going to do something different uh, because since this is not documented here i'm going to use uh, docker um, i already prepared let me just copy everything from here and let's go into my desktop video coordinator and I already set up um, a base a project folder for us and this is our app folder I'm gonna put coordinator here and this is our st structure there's an app folder a dot docker folder and this is our git repository 
uh, our app folder um, is where your code igniter will be and your docker folder this is where everything about docker is so how do you go about running this uh, I have um, I'm running docker compose so I have basically um, two, two containers one called CI4 Apache and the other one called CI4 database this one is a MySQL um, container and this one contains our Apache and PHP and all that and this has a context of PHP so if I go into PHP and I have uh, another folder and a docker file our docker file basically has everything that you you need in all the libraries and everything for PHP and your system and everything everything is set up then your sites available sets up your your host so you can run then you, you'll be able to run your application in ci4 local uh, so how do you go about running this so if I go into my terminal and go into my uh, project folder so I'll just do desktop video code igniter and here I have the docker folder the git folder the app folder so let's just go into the docker folder and let's just start the, the docker containers this is an alias that I have this uh, okay I can use the, uh, the the proper command the proper command would be sudo docker compose up build if this is the first the the first time you're running this um, and as you can see uh, this just started uh, the two containers so if I go into my browser and go into ci4.local I have an error but the application is running uh, so an error is a good thing but I'm not really uh, uh, able to do and uh, to know what the error is and that's because your application by default is running um, in production mode and there's this thing called the m file the m file this file is just a template um, you should never send the the m file and the the dot m file into production uh, but all the the settings and configs that you set here uh, is gone they're gonna um, go and be used instead of the application one so in your application you're gonna put the production settings in your m file you're gonna do and put your uh, development um, settings so the first thing you need to do is uh, change this file into a dot file because if you if you go here and you search for dot env you're gonna see the documentation about the the, the env file and the env file uh, is basically on how you can just set things around like the the base URL the environment and this is the most important thing that we want so let's just duplicate this file and call it dot m file so right now if you change the environment to development and then go into your app and refresh now you can see the error so what this error uh, tells us is that Codeigniter is not able to write uh, into the cache folder. Uh, Codeigniter has this writable folder here where it is going to write everything that it needs like the cache, the debug bar, the logs, the sessions, uh, even the uploads, uh, they'll go through here. So your application needs to have permission to um, 
move things around and write uh, new files in those folders. So to do that, we're going to move into the app folder. And as you can see, I'm now uh, in the application folder for Codeigniter. And as you can see, uh, my user is being used like my, my own name. So you're going to change that into sudo change own. I already have the command here. Um, minus R because you're gonna you want it to be recursive and just change the old folder. So now if you go into your application and refresh, you have the application running. So this is it. To run the application, this is all you need. Um, as I was saying, I was, I was telling you about on how to run with PHP Spark. So that would be quite easy. So I'm just stopping the the Docker Compose. And I'm gonna clear this up, and I'm gonna go into the app folder. So as you can see here, I have the Spark binary. So to run this, this is quite easy. You just do PHP Spark serve and that's it if you go here this one is not working anymore because this um, this was pointing to our uh, docker container but if I go into localhost 8080 I have code and I running here so this is actually uh, uh, pretty easy way to run Codeigniter, but bear in mind that if you use it this way, uh, you're not mimicking the the your production environment. So there's uh, some things that can happen in the future, like you, the, the old, it works in my computer, but it doesn't work in, in the server, can happen a lot if you use this, because the way your development is not the way the same way the 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 application will run in production but that's it for now uh, i'm going to publish uh, to stop the spark uh, you just need to cancel like with control c uh, i'm going to put everything uh, on a github repository you can see that on the description below and Everything that we are gonna do, I'm gonna put in the in that repository. E even the the Docker container, uh, uh, Docker compose files, and everything. I'm gonna put everything there, and you can just uh, copy paste everything for your computer and use it as is. If you have any problems with it, you just drop a comment down below, and I'll be able to to answer as soon as I can. So that's it for today. We just we have Code and I running. Um, the next video I'm gonna probably uh, tell you all about these folders here and explain you when and how to use uh, uh, each of them so that's it for today thank you for watching and I see you in the next one